we've covered a variety of generalist AI agents from Manus to GenSpark AI. But when it comes to true multi-agent collaboration, the current framework still falls short. Agents often struggle to communicate with one another effectively to execute complex workflows, or they come with steep prices that make them inaccessible to most users. There's protocols like Google's A2A, which are promising initiatives that introduce a standardized framework for agent-to-agent -agent communication. It aims to let AI agents seamlessly discover, negotiate, and collaborate across different platforms. However, it's still an early stage. The adoption is quite limited, tooling is minimal, and honestly, it's pretty hard to access at the moment. But what if I told you that there's already a working communication system that goes beyond the spec sheet? Allow me to introduce Deep Agent, developed by Abacus AI, a game-changing framework that brings autonomous AI communication and task execution to life across the open web. This is a new update that basically means that Deep Agent can autonomously discover, learn, and connect to tools and services to get real work done. No plugins, no limits. For example, watch Deep Agent discover a service online that generates mind maps on its own and completes the task from start to finish. It is capable of browsing the web, identifying the tool, connects through a MCP server, prompts for any required credentials, and gets the job done, where in this case, it creates a full on mind map all in real time and without any prior knowledge of this tool. This isn't just automation. This is adaptive intelligence where agents don't need to be hard-coded or pre-trained on specific APIs. They learn on the fly and more importantly, they remember how to use these tools next time. It acts like a true AI-powered digital operator that's capable of exploring the internet, discovering new services, and instantly understanding how to use them and chaining tools together to complete end-to-end -end workflows. With Deep Agent, it handles it all, so there's no hard-coded APIs, no pre-built integrations, not even a single line of code required from you. This is just an agent collaboration that is an autonomous tool that you can use for orchestration at the internet scale. And what's great is that if you are to purchase this Deep Agent subscription, which is available as part of Chat LM Teams, starting at $10 a month, you also get access to Chat LM which is a way for you to access state-of-the-art large language models, web searching capabilities, image gen, and much more. This is where it's quite a steal because you don't get just access to one sort of tool. You get access to multiple tools, a part of Abacus AI suite of tools, where you get access to the computer agent, code LLM, and so much more. So if you are interested, use the link in the description below and click on get started, create an account, and then we can proceed forward and showcase this new updated deep agent before we get started i just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the world of ai newsletter i'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the ai space so definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free after you sign up or log in you're going to be then sent over to the main dashboard of abacus ai's chat lm now to access deep agent you can simply click on the try now button within this banner or within the tool section you'll see the deep agent app which will take you to the main dashboard of deep agent this is where you can describe anything you would like to create or work on when in natural language and then the deep agent is going to be able to execute that task you can create apps documents creating powerpoints videos and so much more now what you can do first is configure the mcps so this is where you can actually add in any sort of mcp tool that you want to like to use within deep agent within this json file over here you can even ask ai to enter in the service name or description of what you want to add for example if you want to add something like stagehands you can add the stagehands mcp by entering the service name and then asking the ai to generate the mcp server for you and to showcase this communication update what we're going to do is make a dashboard of a summary of all the open jira issues reported by me within the last three sprints and we're trying to have it highlight the blocks and just suggest which ones I should prioritize this week based on the effort versus impact. And essentially, we're trying to showcase the autonomous AI to AI communication across the web that Deep Agent is now capable of doing, which is going to allow the agents to discover, learn, and use new software services on the fly. So you can see right away, it is now going to request me to sign in with Jira 
And once I've done so, we can then proceed with the generation. And after signing in, you can see right away it is working on tackling the task to create the dashboard to visualize our data. And now it is going to enable real time tool orchestration without any sort of plugin, API, or code that we need to actually input manually. It is something that is going to now do this task autonomously on its own. And with this new communication system that is set, it is going to work with different agents to tackle all of these different tasks efficiently. Deep Agent also has the ability to work with the computer agent if necessary in terms of scraping data. But right now you can see it is executing all the commands through the terminal. So this is where it has the ability to use multiple tools and different sorts of abilities to execute your tasks. And you can see within the log that with this new communication update, Deep Agent seamlessly discovers and connects Jira to various sorts of protocols whenever it's necessary. And without any sort of pre-built integration, it uses the commands to create this dashboard for us. This is pretty interesting because right now you can see the browser agent being used and it's being operated by Deep Agent. And this is to debug and to see if everything is functional. And the Jira dashboard that was generated looks absolutely amazing. And there we go. Just like that, we have the Jira issue dashboard that was fully developed thanks to the A2A communication system that Deep Agent now has. And you can see how beautiful this actually looks. All of our sprints are listed, the issue status distribution from completed, in progress, open, and others. You can see from our actual page over here. And if we actually go over to the sprint analysis, all of these components are fully generated. And there's actually an effort versus impact uh, diagram that talks about what is the quick wins, which ones you should actually focus on, which ones are major projects. And the priority recommendation is something that the AI actually focused on. So this is an AI part priority recommendation that was fully developed for us. And you can actually take action as this is something that has connected with Jira to help you work on this task. And there's also an issue list that was also generated, which talks about all of the different issues that are reported within my Jira project. But that's essentially how it was capable of using A2A. In this case, it was able to analyze any sort of blockers, generated a prioritized dashboard, and showcased the real-time services quite easily. This is the capability of Deep Agent, where it can seamlessly work on tackling these tasks autonomously, having it so that the different agents can communicate and actually have this memory inbuilt within their system so that it could be used for future generations as well. And the database was actually created for this particular use case. So this is where you can manage the Jira issues, the database that is inbuilt, and the code you can actually work on installing. So if you're interested in accessing all the code that it had generated, you can easily install this and you can have it so that you can work on using this locally and then using it with other AI coding agents like Code LLM. Now, once you have finished working with this project, once everything looks good, you can also deploy this with a single click. You can have it so that it's deployed with Abacus AI's domain or with a custom domain so that you can easily share this around with others. This is the capability of the new Deep Agent update, which is a major leap in autonomous AI capabilities. And in this case, it is able to enable real-time discovery, communication, and even task execution across web services without any sort of plugin or API. So it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of money. And with its dynamic learning, as well as the MCP-based communication layer, it's gonna help you in so many ways and transform your agents to be more smarter in various ways. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. I highly, highly recommend that you take a look at this because not only do you get access to Deep Agent, you get access to all of these different tools, a part of Abacus AI suite of tools. Like if you have seen my videos on CodeLM, you'll see how this is a comparable agent to Cursor in many ways. But that's basically it, guys. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Subscribe to the newsletter as well as subscribing to our second channel. Follow me on uh, the Patreons to join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.